Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 20th through to the 26th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have the Queen of Pentacles, followed then by the King of Pentacles in the upright. Next, we have the King of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Six of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Swords. All of your cards are in the upright position. <coughs> There's a few people here you may be dealing with... Um, a lot of people this week but your overall energy is the queen of pentacles in the upright position this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or rising now this could be somebody who's uh, very close to you who's sort of dominating the week for you or with you <laughs> queen of pentacles in the upright position um this is uh, someone who's uh, very <laughs> practical and down to earth. Now, you could be embodying the energies of the Queen of Pentacles, especially if you do have earth in your chart. You could be um, feeling like stability is the, the, is the, the main issue this week. Now, it could be to do with finances, could be to do with property and real estate, business. Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's really good with the practical aspects of life, right? The tangible things in life. So if this is your spouse, this could be somebody who is maybe trying to run things from a practical or coming from a practical place. Maybe you're wanting to do some high flutin things and have high flutin ideas. And the Queen of Pentacles is sort of grounding you and um, rooting you down to uh, earth. Others of you could be dealing with a, um, a person, could be an accountant, could be a financial advisor, could be a real estate agent, or anyone who deals in the practical aspects of life. So you could be reaching out to them maybe because you have some concerns about this. But like I said, this could be you very much um, embodying the queen of pentacles energy and at the beginning of the week now you have the king of pentacles more earth energy taurus virgo capricorn now you have the royal couple here it does indicate that the couple stays together it could be for financial or real estate reasons but um or the couple finds a, um, a very stable um what am i thinking like a very stable reason to or uh, solution that's what i'm thinking of the couple finds a stable solution to deal with um, practical matters financial matters home matters things like that again this is real estate agent uh, financial advisor this seems like all about practical matters for others of you perhaps the king and queen of pentacles represents your parents or it could be another couple who are um dealing with financial matters again maybe you're the one assisting them or helping them in some way here you come now the king of wands this is fire energy aries leo sag you're sag so you're coming up in your own reading in the upright position but the king of wands is all about taking action he represents business enterprise adventure travel action it could very well be that perhaps <coughs> this is you um maybe helping this couple take action or it could be that you are wanting to take action or practical well they they want to take practical action and perhaps you want to go into business maybe this is you uh proposing a business um, uh, deal to them and perhaps they're coming up like i said it could be investors could be your parents it could be something like that and they're helping you to get funding or get grounding for your business deal um, this is you coming up in your in the upright position. There's two kings here too, also representing a serious conference. Uh, uh, th there's something serious going on here this week, Sagittarius. It looks like could be all about either business, uh, property matters, real estate, but it's it's a need to take action. And maybe uh, you're dealing with you know financial advisors to help you figure out the way forward, right? And the way forward is right to its success. We have the Six of Wands here. This is the prodigal son or daughter returns. This is all about victory all the way. 
Um, it's also about a lot of positive attention being bestowed upon you. So you could be completing a deal. It looks like some of you are, are wheeling and dealing with something. So let me know in the comment section below, are you putting together a deal this week? If you are, it looks like it will be very successful because you do have the victory card here. It could be that some of you are getting backing or funding for something. It definitely either for a business or for trap or uh, something like that. You're definitely getting backing for something. Could be a business um, idea. Maybe you have a, an idea to go into business for yourself and you're getting the financial backing for it. Could be that you have an idea to travel somewhere, to set up shop, getting backing. You could be having an idea of uh, purchasing property. Again, getting backing for it. You will be successful. That's all I can say in the matter. <laughs> But the end card here is the Two of Swords in the upright, which is a need to make a decision. Do I go right? Do I go left? This is about, you know, she has the blindfold on. She can't figure out which way to go because she feels she doesn't have enough informed information to make a final decision about something. Now, I hate to leave you with a cliffhanger here. It happened to Scorpio as well. We <laughs> had the Two of Swords at the end. But there's a need to make a decision about something, about the way forward here. And it leaves off like that. So you'll have to let us know in the comment section below what the decision was for you. But yeah, interesting, interesting. It seems very specific maybe to a certain group of, of Sagittarians. But yeah, that's what I have for you. Interesting. Um, and in closing, I will be pulling a card from the Wisdom Oracle deck. Let's see what we have for Sag here. Um, fork in the road. <laughs> Interesting. Fork in the road. Maybe that's where the indecision is coming from. Huh. Well, you'll definitely have to let us know what you decide and what comes of this. It looks like the direction you're moving in, though, you're coming up, you know, in the upright. So you're moving in the right direction, obviously, because it leads you directly to a victory. So that's what I have for you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.